Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid-March 2022 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Gemini. This will not resonate with every Gemini that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Gemini, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Crosswatchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in the Gemini. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Gemini and Crosswatchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to connect with your own intuition and decipher which role you're at, if that resonates with your specific situation the best. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I will be using my sample to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume is kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started, Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and get this reading started. Let's see what's happening from now to the end of the month for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or anyone dealing with the Gemini in love and romance. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, okay, Gemini, so we got honeymoon. Interesting, and it says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, a couple different things I get from this card here. For some of you, I feel like you guys are in the dating phase with this person. You guys have been dating each other exclusively. You've been doing a lot together. I feel that you've been taking certain trips to the city is kind of what I'm hearing or going on some sort of weekend getaways together. Um, maybe you have some plans this weekend on doing something where you guys are going to go out. You're going to enjoy the fresh air outside. Um, I'm seeing like an outdoor restaurant or maybe even like a brewery that someone likes to go to or that they're going to take you to. Um, but I mean, for others of you too, I kind of feel like you guys have like a special trip planned, a special date. Maybe you guys are going to an event together. Someone's going to ask you to be their date to an event, like a wedding, a party, um, where people are going to know that you two are together. But some of you are just like in the honeymoon phase right now of the connection. You've been talking for the last six months, have been dating for the last six months. So maybe even since... Um, you know, last, what would that be? Spirit, help me, September? <laughs> September, October range maybe for some of you. And I, they feel like it's been going great between the two of you. And I feel that there's going to be some movement here um, towards a certain goal you've had with this person, maybe moving towards a commitment someone's thinking about, taking this to another level. But yeah, I feel Gemini, someone wants to invite you to go somewhere specifically. It feels like a trip. It feels like now that kind of like COVID restrictions are kind of loosening up. Maybe someone wants to come see you if you guys are in long distance and do some sort of special plan for the two of you. But there's some plans at work here. So that's nice. Let's get some more. Tell me more about this energy. So it says acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, the letter A is sticking out to me very strongly, like Alex, Alexandra, um, you know, could be someone's first, middle, last initial, doesn't have to be the case. But yeah, I feel like you guys are both like in this flow of this connection. I feel that neither of you are feeling like there's going to be, you know, drama. You don't like drama. You're not the one to cause drama, start drama. This person isn't either. Even though I can't help but feel like the there's people who watch you guys, who are checking your social media, who are seeing you with this person that aren't happy about it and maybe even a little bit jealous. It feels like an ex maybe. It could be, you know, certain friends or family members that are your end, their end, I don't know, that just like aren't, you know, they're not getting it themselves. So 
they get mad when they see other people getting it. I don't know. But I feel with all this, I like, you guys are where you exactly need to be right now. And it's moving. It's going to a certain point at the end of the month where I feel you guys are accepting a certain offer, accepting a certain period of where you guys are at, and you're very happy with it. You're accepting each other. I feel you're not only dating each other, connecting with one another just because you think each other are hot. Uh, you know, it feels more of like you guys like each other for the personalities you have. You guys, I feel, are intellectually stimulated by this person, which really turns you on. They're smart. They know what they're talking about. I'm almost getting someone who has like medical knowledge. So someone could be a nurse, a doctor, um, works by a hospital, at a hospital. Maybe he's even going to classes to get a certain degree. Um, but both of you have amazing conversations that can go on all night that can, you know, you, both of you carry on a good conversation. Um, both of you are kind of sarcastic too, which the other person finds really funny. But I think you guys are in a good place right now in love and romance. And this person isn't going anywhere. They're here to stay there. And I feel even for some of you too, there's going to be some offer, an offer that I feel you're going to be happy to accept. That is going to make you really happy. It's blossoming. It's blooming. It's unfolding now. And everything had to happen for a reason. Um, you know, even for those of you that are at a distance from one another, let's just say, you guys, like, during this time of COVID, you couldn't see each other that much. You still built that bond based on, like, the conversations you've had over the phone, over FaceTime, Skype, WhatsApp, whatever, right? Um you've kept like contact with one another. And maybe that was for the best because it wasn't so like, for those of you this resonates with, it wasn't physical. You connected on a spiritual mental level that couldn't, you know, wasn't solely relied on just having sex with one another. Um, let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. Tell me more about the energy in Gemini's love life right now, spirit. All right. Who king? Uh, I'm sorry. Queen of Wands. Aries energy. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. So Pisces energy, Cancer energy for me as a reader, you could be dealing with one of those signs. You could have those signs in your big three. Your Venus does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. But yeah, I feel like Gemini, there is something mysteriously attractive about you. And again, maybe you guys met online, so you only had each other's like personal avenues you could kind of get to know. Um, they saw through your pictures. But with the High Priestess, there is so much more to you. I mean, my God, they think you're hot. They think you're sexy. There's no doubt about that. But like you had complexity, you had depth that really intrigued them. And at first I feel, I don't know, someone just kind of didn't want to reveal it all too soon. Didn't want to put themselves all out there. Didn't, you know, want to bite the bait when they first started sending really sexual messages. You kind of held out a little bit because you wanted to see what more to this person there was. You're so done with like the players, the playettes, the F boys, the F girls who are just around for just a good time and then leave when something else comes up. So you played your cards right, Gemini, is kind of what I'm feeling with this because you really got them intrigued. They find you to be mysterious, or at least when they first met you, there was just some sort of draw to you they couldn't really understand. With the high priestess energy, it feels very sensual, sexual, but not so outworldly. Um, you know, like you don't have to put it all out there to get attention. You just draw it in. And it's through your energy. It's through this, like, you know, if you want to get to know me, you come talk to me and I'll tell you all about it. Or you keep engaging with me and I'll open up more. Some of you are psychic or some of you are very intuitive and you pick up and read people's energy very, very well. So there is people you've had to reject or turn down or stop talking to. But there's something that felt right with this person that made you say, OK, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a chance. I'm seeing someone with eyeglasses that doesn't wear them frequently unless they're home, kicking it at home, but you look really cute in your eyeglasses. They really like it. Um, and someone looks really great with no makeup on. You really don't need it. I don't know who needs to hear that, but that's what this person sees too. That message isn't for everyone. 
But yeah, I feel with the high priestess, like they had to get to know you. You were, you know, even if when you first met or first started messaging, it was brief. They still kind of, for some reason, were drawn to message you more, talk to you more. They felt like there was more to uncover here with you, Gemini. And they weren't disappointed. Because now that you're feeling this, now that you get the vibe, you feel the energy, it, it feels good to you. You're just as much into it. You're opening up. And man, with this Queen of Wands here, it's exciting. It's passionate. Um, I mean, maybe some of you have started to become more centrally, sexually involved with this person, whether it is, you know, physically or even sending each other some spicy pics, posting some thirst traps on social media. You got him. Gemini. I mean, there's something about you that just feels confident, that really is attractive. You know, you kind of just have this energy of I'm enjoying the moment every day. What is meant for me is meant for me. I'm not going to spend too much time wallowing, sitting in, you know, people's energies that are negative, that are toxic. I'll dump it fast because I'm not going to stoop myself to that level. I attract what is meant to be mine. And I know that if it is in my life and it is happening and it is blossoming, then there's something special there. But I feel Gemini recently with this energy, they want to show you off. They've been telling people about you. They've been excited when they see your messages, see your missed calls. Um, man, they just, I don't know if you guys are going to meet each other for the first time face to face. They're not going to be disappointed. They're going to think you look better than the photos, okay? And for those of you you've already met recently, maybe, um, face-to-face, -face, man, yeah, you look good. You look good. And that's kind of like you got the whole package. Not only are you smart, not only do you have depth, you're also really good looking in their eyes. And you have it all is kind of what they think. And that's why they're going to go for it. What's crossing this is the Page of Swords. So air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Uh, I believe Scorpio also had this card in the same spot in their spread. So if you have Scorpio on your chart, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, check out the Scorpio reading to see if there's messages for you there. But different than Scorpios, I kind of feel like this person, this is what they're planning, right? That they're kind of putting into motion that they've been thinking about doing that they want to pursue, that they're very intrigued by. Um, I feel like they're looking up certain dates they can come see you, certain dates they want to have a certain event on. Uh, this is They're scheming something here, but it doesn't feel sneaky. It doesn't feel, you know, low vibrational. It feels like they want to surprise you with something, surprise you with an offer, surprise you with a trip, surprise you with you know, some sort of conversation that is going to lead this to where it's going to go. Um, I kind of want to clarify this page of swords. So let's go ahead and do that. So really weirdly, I'm kind of picking up on the way someone talks. They could either have like an accent or even like a lisp. I'm kind of picking up on for someone, a small one. Not too noticeable, but maybe someone even had a list growing up and it's always kind of stuck in some way. Not for everyone. Tell me about this Page of Swords spirit. Why is this Page of Swords crossing in this energy? Ace of Swords. Yeah. They want to talk. They want to, you know, talk about where this is heading, where this is going. If you see this going in the same direction that they do, can you give this a shot? Um, and Six of Swords, too. Travel, even. Yeah. Some of you, this is a trip, especially with the honeymoon. Or even, like, having this conversation, taking it from a place where it's just been, you know, just talking, dating, seeing where this will go to something so much more committed. Um, now, I also feel for some of you, too, with the Page of Swords, it could always mean an energy of someone withholding or someone spying, right? And that, that was kind of the jealousy I was picking up on with some out energy that is still like seeing how you two are flourishing, seeing how you two are so happy, seeing that you two are getting along and moving forward. It's making someone want to reach out to try to change your mind. 
or ta- try to take control of the situation or get you back in some way, Gemini. Um, it feels out of pure jealousy, though. It doesn't feel anything from the truth, but they want to talk to you about it, hoping they can change your mind or to like put some bugs in your ear about it, or maybe theirs, right? Um, but let's just keep going. <laughs> So crowning this is the two of wands, Aries energy, a strong attraction, a strong desire. Uh, Man, they just think you're the bomb. (laughs) I don't know. There's just this pull to you, Gemini, that has always been strong, that has always been there. But this is, you know, a lot of people, for their own reasons, as tarot readers have their own interpretations, but a lot of people believe that the two of wands is like a crossroads. I never felt that way, only because, like, in the Rider Waite Smith depiction, you always see, like, someone who has a wand in their hand with the world there, certain they're moving forward with the wand leaving behind, right? So to me, that always kind of felt like they made a choice. They made a choice to pursue, they made a choice to put action towards. And I feel Gemini, they cut out all other options. They cut out anyone that they would think they could have a chance with them to let them know they're exclusively focused on you. And maybe that's the jealous person was the option that got dropped, right? But they're like, I mean, this attraction to you is getting more developed through bonding with you, through the interactions they've had with you, the conversations they've had with you. It just keeps growing more and more. And they're zero in on you, tunnel vision on you, Gemini. And for others of you, yeah, I feel like they've made this decision to move forward in this connection, in this situation. They've made up their mind. They want to have a plan. They want to have a future with you. They want to see where this can go. You stand out above the rest. And I'll tell you why I'm saying that too. Because rooting this is the five of wands, which is also that other energy trying to boot in here. Um, Leo energy is coming through here. So yeah, I feel if there is some sort of evil eye on you guys, Gemini, it's not that serious. They can't do anything to reverse this. They can't do anything to break the bond between the two of you guys. I think they're jealous that, you know, someone chose you instead of them. It does feel on their end. And so they may try to kind of, you know, pick fights or to message them some things especially if this person has a child with them let's just say uh they want to pick fights with them or whatever but with this five of wands here rooting this situation i feel gemini maybe because you guys weren't exclusive yet you always wondered if there were you know other people or if you were doing enough to get their attention don't worry about that okay you'd stand out especially with this two of wands crowning the reading right I feel, though, like, even if it's not, like, an ex type of jealousy, maybe, like, especially if you guys live away or live far apart from one another, they've discussed with, like, people around them that they want to move or have plans on moving closer to you, Um, and that's kind of throwing family members off. They're not liking that because they want to keep them around them for as long as possible, but, yeah, I think that as far as where they want things to go where they want things to happen it's you as priority number one as far as what they have as goals um but with this five of wands too I wonder if there has been complications as far as you know the distance between the two of you if there is a distance and it's been long distance how difficult that's kind of been and for as long as you've been talking you know is there going to be any effort being made to kind of solve that problem, right? But I also feel like this person gets a little uh, jealous and gets a little bit territorial over you, Gemini. They want people to know not to look your way. They want people to know that they have a claim to you. And it doesn't feel low vibrational, but it feels like, you know, I don't want anyone thinking they have a chance with Gemini. I want Gemini all to myself. And maybe they've kind of picked fights with other people thinking that they were hitting on you, thinking that they were flirting with you online or even in person or something like that, right? And maybe they've defended you to other people, defended your name, right? Someone could live by a clock tower as well, 
or even by like a campus, a college campus. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Maybe you met in college or in university for someone, not everyone. In the recent past, we have the magician, Gemini energy, also Virgo energy. Yeah, I feel that on their end, they've been doing everything they can to keep you interested, to keep you intrigued. And can I say the combination of the high priestess and the magician is a pretty powerful one, a powerful spiritual draw to one another, a magnetism that can't really be explained, but is very deeply felt. And I feel they've been trying to play all their cards right with you, Gemini, been wanting to get to know you, have been having the right conversations, been using everything to let you know they're interested. There's no question that this person's interested, I feel. Um, but even for some others, again, manifesting that change to happen into their life, the opportunity to move, the opportunity to be closer to you, the opportunity to ask you out, but they didn't want to do it too soon you know, in case that would throw you off, but they've been, you know, trying to play into it as how can I convince Gemini that I'm the one to stick with, to have, you know, an exclusive connection with. They're very charming and they're very good with their words, but it doesn't feel manipulative. It doesn't feel, you know, salesman-y, let's just say. It feels more of, I want to show you how much I want this. I kind of want to clarify the magician super quickly. I wonder if you guys have done meditations together. Meditations or healings. Maybe classes together. Can you uh, clarify this magician spirit? And if you guys do interact face to face quite frequently physically, like someone loves holding the other person's chin, or like directing up to them to look into their face and stuff. But yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, Virgo energy coming through, dedication. They see potential in this. They see worth in this. And that's why they're moving towards it. And the Knight of Pentacles is much crap people give. The Knight of Pentacles, he's my favorite knight. I'll tell you why. Um, because the Knight of Pentacles isn't moving just because there's some sort of passion that is temporary just because... For the moment they feel it the nine of pentacles doesn't move until they see true worth true prosperity and that's why they're a little bit cautious with it because they don't want to mess it up so you know if this person has been going slow it's been a part of their plan they don't want to rush into anything they don't want to you know um be unprepared for when a situation comes up now, again, someone may be trying to convince this other person to go back. They're not going to be convinced. Why would they settle for, you know, trail mix when they can have, like, I don't know. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Why would they settle for a sack of potatoes when they could have, like, a bag full of diamonds, you know? I, I'm not trying to be that drastic about it, but you get what I'm saying. They're not going to settle for less. And by going back to the past or going back to someone that honestly with the three of swords at the bottom of the deck broke their heart, um, why would they? Especially when they have you. Um, and you know what too, Gemini, I gotta say, whoever this, it's not for everyone, but for those of you, you know about this person, you know exactly who they are when I've been talking about this jealousy they may be trying to do like manifestations or even spell work to break you guys up, but it's not working. Spirit's protecting this. Spirit's protecting the two of you because that's what's meant to be. And what's meant to be can't be taken. Again, you guys are in that mindset spiritually of what is meant to unfold shall unfold. But anyway, what you need to know about this connection, about this person and situation, Gemini, is the Fool card. So Aquarius energy, Aries energy, yeah, they're ready for this new chapter. They're ready to take this to another, like, just to have a trip, to have a new experience, to move about in a new transition for the two of you. 
maybe to take that leap of faith in asking you to be there is taking that leap of faith to ask you to go on a trip or to be their date to something where you would be known as being their girlfriend, their boyfriend, whatever, right? But they want this new life with you. They want this new chapter to begin with the two of you. And they may be a little afraid to ask and they've been waiting for the right time, but here it is, the time is now. So are you gonna take them up on it? Are you just as ready as they are? We're gonna go ahead and see. We're gonna see what they're likely to do and what they're likely to what's likely to happen and unfold in this connection and extended reading. I'm gonna overturn this card here to show you guys their next steps, their next moves, what they're thinking about this, what they are planning here. And I'm gonna pull some oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this connection for you guys and see if there's anything else you need to know about this situation. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Gemini, I really hope that this reading has resonated with you in some way, has given you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Gemini, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Gemini.